How we doing, everybody? Figured I'd give you guys an update tour of my chainsaw collection. Start with the rack and the floor in the garage, and then we'll move into the shop. So starting off with the top rack, Power Max Six does run. Probably needs a car rebuild though. Little home light. XL2 automatic does run. Um, does not oil. I still gotta kind of uh, get that fixed and probably rebuild the carb as well because I did clean the carb it runs, but not so well. Home light 240 got it for free maybe about a month ago and runs great. Needs nothing. Pro Mac 1010s. In really nice shape. Just picked that up a week or two ago. Runs excellent. Really doesn't need anything. Husky 340. That I convert to a 346 XP. Runs excellent. Needs nothing. Husky 357 XP. One of the high performance saw well. One of my builds, pop-up piston, dual port muffler, runs great, needs nothing except for a fuel cap, it's weeping a little bit. Husky 61 that I've converted to a 272 XP, runs excellent, really needs nothing. Sears 758G gear drive. It does run and it does cut. However, it's really cumbersome and heavy, so I really don't run it that often. John's Red 920 Super. Traded a McCullough 150 for it. Runs great, needs nothing. Steel 034 AV. West German built side tensioner. Runs excellent, needs nothing. <laughs> Home light. Um, Super XL automatic. Got it from a customer of mine who didn't want to repair it. Ended up going through it completely. So, uh, fuel system, everything like that. Runs and cuts great. <coughs> Excuse me. Another um, Super XL automatic runs and cuts great. XL12 really doesn't need anything except for uh, the uh, plunger O-rings for the oil pump, and again runs great. Of uh, XL12. With the stack muffler, runs, cuts great. We have here Super XL Automatic. Again, runs, cuts great. Another Super XL Automatic. Again, runs and cuts great. Um, the only thing it actually needs is a spark plug uh, cap. XL12 runs and cuts great. Actually, all these old home lights that I have run and cut great. We have here a super easy automatic. Again, runs, runs and cuts. Got a right GS5020A. So a reciprocating saw has no spark, hasn't come to life yet. O fifty one AV electronic. Again, runs, cuts great. Home light zip nineteen sixty-eight. Runs runs nicely, needs to be sharpened. And I've got to resolve a fuel leak from the 
fuel inlet on the carburetor, but otherwise doesn't need you know much. Uh, Sears U4 G, uh, U4D, so it's a direct drive. Runs nice. Um, really haven't cut with it at all. But, uh, like I said, it does run great. Clinton D35. It does run. However, it needs some clutch work as well as the recoil uh, repaired again. Again, that would probably be another winter project or something like that. O31AV runs and cuts as it should. Another super easy automatic. Runs, runs nice. Cool and 306A. Very, uh... Famous saw used in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Runs, cuts nice. Got a, a little Mac 210. I think it's from the early 60s. And runs, runs nice, cuts good. And, uh, got a 1010A. Runs, uh, runs and cuts nice. Now we'll go into the garage. Or into the workshop just flip the light on steel 050 Currently working on that one, kind of going through it and getting all the stuff that it needs. Um, Super Wiz 66 started on that one, kind of lost interest in doing it. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. John Deere 50V again started working on it. Ended up losing interest in working on it, so I will find all the stuff and you know, either finish it or uh, get rid of it. I'm not really sure yet. And again, with the Super Wiz 66, I might finish it, I might not. So that's it. Thanks for watching.